Hello everyone. So in last two videos in this uh, series, um, we had discussed about a three phase three wire system and three phase four wire system in the reverse order that is uh, with the unbalanced load in the system we are trying to measure the currents and powers so i leave the links to those other two videos uh, in this series so that you know you can just uh, refer that back what i want to do now here is just to summarize the results of the previous two videos which i have done so if you look at a three phase three wire system these were the quantities we calculated uh, this is the neutral point voltage at the load and this is IA, IB, IC, three currents in the three phases with their angles also. Whereas, uh, I think this should be plus, let me just verify that. Whereas, uh, the SA, SB, SC are the uh, complex powers in the each of the phases. This is for the, for the three phase three wire results and these are the three phase four wire results. And finally, the total power is uh, this much. Now, uh, one thing you should notice is for a three phase three wire system, we are actually able to send more power. 4,422 watts of power is going from the supply to the load. So let me just diagrammatically show that we have a three phase supply. This is balanced and I have a three phase load. This is unbalanced. Now if I connect them with three wires, the power I can send is 4422 4, watts from supply to the load. If I add one more wire connecting the neutral points, then the power actually reduces. 3 to 8, 9 watts only it is going. So this is again uh, some of the stranger things that happen in the electrical engineering. So by adding more wires, you are actually sending less power. And by removing that uh, neutral wire, uh, I can send more power like that. Similarly, look at the negative sign, minus J564. That means this is the reactive power flowing in the reverse direction because of the minus sign. That means Q is flowing like this. This is a symbol for Q. This is J564 amount of Q is flowing from here to this side. At the same time, simultaneously, I mean through all three wires actually, at the same time, uh, the active power that is flowing in this direction is uh, P, which is uh, 4422. This unit is in watts and this unit is in watts. So at the same time, Active power is flowing from supply to the load and reactive power is flowing from load to the supply depending on the parameters of the load that is here. And the similar result here, actually not only a three phase three wire system is increasing the active power, it is reducing the reverse flow of the reactive power, you can see it here. By the way, these, these numbers are not always true. Uh, depending on the characteristics of load, sometimes these numbers, sometimes this may be less than this. So I'm not, uh, saying this is always true but in this case it happens to be like this okay that's about summary of the previous two videos now uh, next what i want to do is discuss about a two watt meter method of uh, power measurement so for that let me just copy this diagram and i'll just make a copy of it So, and I'll paste it uh, after this table. Okay. So now, now what I want to do is just delete this. Is introduce a two watt meter method. So, what is two watt meters? So, a watt meter, you know, will have a current coil and a pressure coil. So, watt meter one. So, let me just make some space for the watt meters. I'll delete this part here.
and I'll introduce a current coil in the A phase and then the pressure coil of that I will connect between the A phase and the B phase. Similarly, I'll introduce another current coil in the C phase and it will have a pressure coil. Let me do it inverted way and I connect back to the same point to the B phase. So this is my watt meter number two. Let's call it W2. And this is my watt meter number one. Let's call it W1. So uh, the question is, what does the watt meter measure? It measures the active power flowing in the circuit. But because of the nature of the connections that we have made, so the watt meter one will have uh, current is IA. Watt meter one has IA current and VAB voltage. So the voltage of this point is A and the voltage of this point is B. So therefore VAB is the voltage of the pressure coil that is inside the watt meter one. Similarly, watt meter two has IC current and VCB voltage. Now it is very important the notation this is VCB that means voltage of point C. So this point is C and this point is B. Voltage of point C with reference to point B is the this thing. In other words uh, I can write this VAB is nothing but voltage of A with reference to voltage of B. Similarly VCB is voltage of C with reference to voltage of B. Now VBC is different. What is VBC? VBC is VB minus VC. But here we are talking about VCB which is uh, which is kind of 180 degrees out of phase with VCB. Anyway, I'll, I'll remove that. So we have this and then IA and IC are the currents. Now what does a watt meter do? It takes the current, it takes the voltage and takes the cos of the angle difference between them and from that it measures the active power. So W1 is actually IA magnitude, let me write first VAB, VAB magnitude multiplied by IA magnitude multiplied by cos of angle between, so angle of VAB minus angle of IA, so like this. So uh, it's a relative angle between these two, so because cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta, it doesn't matter uh, whether I take the angle of IA and subtract VA, angle of VAB or whatever. Similarly, W2 watt meter will read VCB voltage magnitude and IC magnitude of current and then cos of angle of VCB minus angle of IC like this. So now the question is if I add these two then I will get W1 plus W2 that value should be equal to the total active power so PT let us call it. So what is PT? If I go back for the same circuit for this 5 ohms, this load and everything, uh, the total power we were getting was 4422. So for a 3 phase 3 wire system. So uh, this should be equal to 4422 watts is what we need to verify now. It is just a power measurement, 2 watt meter method. So since we are not doing the conducting actual experiment, so let us, uh, let us write a small code to get this values. So if I if I now go back to my code, so here was the program which we used just uh, in the previous video. Uh, so VA, you can just quickly go through the code here, you can pause the video and go through it. I'll, I'll explain one by one. So lines 1, 2, 3, we are talking about defining VA, VB and VC, 80 volts, 80 volts, 80 volts, whereas the 0 degrees angle for A minus 120 degrees angle and minus 240 degrees angle for B and C. We are defining the three phase supply here. Then we are defining ZA, ZB and ZC, three phase impedances. Then uh, because it's a three phase three wire system, this was the formula we derived to find the currents IA, IB, IC and IN anyway we got the negligible current. And IA, IB, IC we are able to calculate. And here I am just displaying the results, the absolute value and angle and similarly I am calculating the powers and all these things. Now 
this is a, this is like a, a theoretical now practically if i connect uh, the two watt meter method what happens so first i need to find vab and vcb so as you see vab is nothing but va minus vb and vcb is nothing but vc minus vb so vab is nothing but va minus vb so we have already defined these values in the first line so we can easily calculate that vcb is nothing but vc minus vb now what meter 1 will read absolute value of vab multiplied by absolute value of ia multiplied by cos of angle of vab minus angle of ia so just i'm literally uh, writing the how it is connected so if i if you understood this absolute value of vab absolute value of ia multiplied by cos cos of angle of vab minus cos of angle of ia i'm getting like this similarly uh, the watt meter 2 will read absolute value of vcb uh, and the current here will be ic and the angle will be vcb and here also the angle of ic so these two values now i am interested in pt total power that is nothing but w1 plus w2 so hopefully we have done everything correct so let's just execute the program and see how it is so here on the right uh, i can see here w1 is 977.38 watts w2 is 344.2 watts and the total power is 4421.6 which is exactly matching with the total power 4421.56 so it's just a round of error it's matching with the uh, calculated value so thus we can we can now see by connecting in a three phase system only two watt meters you can connect in this fashion and you can measure the power so let me just uh, from calculations from the code finally what i'm getting is w1 is this one 977.4 and w2 is 3444.2 and the total power total is nothing but the sum of these two so this is the total power consumed by all three phases together although it is not equally consumed it is unbalanced as you had already seen so this is just a small video to explain the working of a two watt meter method now you can ask a question uh, is this the only way we can do it why not uh, keep the current coil in a and another current coil in b and then use the c for uh, measurement will that work so again let me uh, let me demonstrate that So let me again make one more copy of it. So I'm just making a copy. So another way of two watt meter method. I'm slightly changing the selection of phases. just scrolling down oh, I have just run out of space on this let me or I'll just do it here itself See what if I have a system like this, instead of the watt meters connected here, I will connect and just make a small diagram here. So this is A, B, C. So I connect the current coil in this and the pressure coil to C. Similarly, in B phase another current coil I will connect and the pressure coil I connect to 
see again. So now uh, what is the powers? So this is watt meter 1. So this is W1 and this is W2. So here the current is IA and here the current is IB and here the voltages are VAC and VBC. So let us quickly verify uh, with that. So VA, VAB remains same and VBC becomes now. So here VB minus VC I have to do that to get the VBC voltage. But first of all, will it come? I am sorry, the first one is VAC, not uh, that. So VA minus VC. So once I have this, then again I can just do one more round of W1 calculation. Here I will use VAC, and the second one is VBC. And here the current will be IA same. Here the current will be IB. And here also. VAC and VBC. Here current will be B. Now with this combination what will be the total power is again what I want to check. So let me leave a comment here. Connecting 2 watt meters in A and B phases. Whereas C is common. So let's save and then I'll just run it once again. So again you notice that here the W1 is 462.73 and W2 is 3958. So this is the different uh, combination. And, and what is the total power here? That is this one 4421.6 which is exactly matching the case. So even in this case also it is coming. But then now consider like this, the three phase system. If I have a current coil here and pressure coil like this, then again if I have a current coil here and pressure coil like this, so this is not the correct connection. So this is the IA current here and this is VAB, whereas this is IB current here and this is VBC. This is not the correct combination of measuring the two phase power, uh, two watt meter method, three phase power, because the the pressure coil should be connected to the common one. So this is the wrong connection. So what is the correct connection is current coils in two of the phases, the pressure coils the other end should be connected to the another third phase. So this is about. Uh, this let's let's quickly verify this also. What happens if I connect between VAB and VBC? So let's do that. So I'll just once again copy this. So by the way, uh, if when you are doing an experiment in lab, you can always do such kind of connection. There is nothing wrong in connecting like this and you know doing the experiment. But the results will not be what you are expecting. So let's see uh, wrong connection. So here instead of VAC, I will use VAB. So this is VA minus VB and VBC is same. So then here it will be VAB and multiplied by VAB here. That's all. So rest of the uh, thing is same. Now if I, if I run the code, now you see W1 is coming correctly 977.38 but W2 is 3958. And the total power is 4936, which doesn't mean anything. See, it's like some kind of double counting of watts is happening because of this wrong connection. So this is wrong connection given uh, PT is 4936. So this is wrong connection. So what is the proper connection? Is that current coils in two of the phases and the pressure coils of the two should be connected to the other phase. Anything you can select. So I hope you learned something from uh, this uh, uh, video. Now there are other ways. Here we are measuring 2 watt meter method, active power we are measuring. There is another way of uh, different other uh, crazy connections. 
uh, i give it to you as a homework so for example you can see let's say three wires are there now i i connect the current coil here and the pressure coil i connect between the other two then what what does it re record similarly i connect the current coil here and the pressure coil i connect between the other two wires so this is another connection so if i if i do like that what kind of power will i get it so it's again you can just try various combinations and see uh, if you can if you can discover something further interesting so electrical engineering has a lot of this kind of uh, interesting stuff uh, everywhere so i hope you are able to like it and i hope you have learned something from uh, this 2 watt watt meter method video and my other videos also if you like this video please hit the like button and please do subscribe to my channel and from time to time i will be uploading more videos on power systems and electrical engineering and i hope you like this thank you so much